found yourself in the thick of it with emotions going in every direction. One minute you're on the mountaintop laughing, life is great. And the next minute you find yourself sinking in a valley so low, you don't even know how you'll find your way back out. You're so far down you can't even cry out for help. I think we've all been there. Well, so what's your go-to when that happens? Do you look for a way out with a spoon and a carton of Ben and Jerry's? Do you go shopping at the mall for retail therapy? Or do you head out the door for a nice long therapeutic run? I used to do that. How about this? The Bible. In moments when I have been so low, I couldn't even ask for prayer. And I was so lost, I didn't think to pray for myself. But somehow, I found a godly friend to cry out to. And God mercifully used them to pick me back up again. To point me back to Him. So do you have a godly friend? Or are you plugged into a church? If not, think about getting plugged into one. Get some Christian friends to do life with. And if you're already doing that, look for the person in your church who needs a friend and come alongside them. I think of the wisdom in Ecclesiastes, one of my favorite um, scriptures. It comes from the New Living Translation in chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. We used it at our wedding. Two people are better than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close to each other can keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. God wants to be where we turn to in the good times as well as the bad times. You don't have to trust me on this one. Trust him.